What's up guys, Sleeps here with another episode of My Journey to an Ultimate Team. And we start this episode off by signing Vincent Company. He's going to take over Skirtle's position. I haven't really been feeling too confident with Skirtle's defending, so Vincent Company is going to come in and take his spot. And Vincent Company was a little low on uh, fitness, so he's going to have to rest up a match, and we're going to search for a match with the Liga squad. And uh, real quick, just to tell you guys, Vincent Company is probably going to be, well, he will be the last signing for a few days because I'll tell you guys now, I'm going to do a Christmas pack opening. I'm going to open $20 worth of packs and I'll probably upload it on the 26th because I'll open them on Christmas Day. And uh, I'll have that uploaded to show you guys. And then with the coins that I make from that plus the coins I have now. Hopefully I get lucky in during that pack opening or something like that happens. Uh, point is, I'll have more coins after that pack opening regardless. And with those coins, I will make a signing. Hopefully somebody, a really big signing. So yeah, that's something I wanted to tell you guys just so you know. Don't get impatient with the signings. Uh, anyway, onto this match. You see there, we equalized to Wayne. Uh, Balotelli scored the opener there, a good one from him. And then right here, he's doing some skills, juggling the ball, and then passed it, and I don't know what that was about. So I intercept with Ozil, pass it to Di Maria. Di Maria showing a little bit of pace, and he gets into a good position to cross, and Iguain is on hand to show his aerial ability and score himself a pretty nice header. So that gave us our lead back, and then after that, uh, we get a free kick here. He was pressing circle too many times, tugging on my shirt too much, so the ref calls it. And Villa steps up to take the free kick, and once he moved the wall that extra step to the left, I knew what I wanted to do. I went for a driven free kick uh, with a little bit of side spin on it to get it on target, and it came off quite nicely. David Villa scoring a very nice free kick, nice powerful free kick. I don't think any keeper would have saved that one. And that gave us our two goal cushion, always like to see that. And then this next goal, we dispossess him and we pass the ball around nicely. And Fabregas, he always seems to move forward so nicely and he finishes right there. Fabregas just always fills in that gap where you need somebody to be forward and he did it nicely there and finishes. And our next goal is from him. He scores a header from Balotelli and I knew this was going to happen as soon as I saw that cross come in. And I saw Danny Alves standing at 5'7 and Balotelli at 6'2". There was only one winner in the air for that one, so he got himself a goal there. But uh, we get ourselves another here. We play Angel Di Maria through, who leaves Ever behind with his pace, gets cuts inside a little bit, and manages to just about get that shot off, gets, him to, gets his angle, and finesses that one with his left to give us another goal. And the last goal of the match comes from Angel Di Maria, showing that he's not too bad on his weak foot. A nice back heel assist from my opponent. And then he whips that one in with his right at the far post. Not a bad goal at all considering that was his weak foot. And then that was finally uh, the end of the scoring in that match. A 6-2. About time we got a, a game with a big score line. I haven't been able to really dominate my opponents the past like two or three episodes. So that was a good score line to see. We win at 6-2 and we walk away with 934 coins. Not bad at all. After that. You see I had some contract issues, Pepe and Pique needed some contracts, but we switched to the Premier League. Uh, uh, company is going to make his debut, hopefully he will keep give us a clean sheet. And we search for a match and we come across this guy in a 4-1-2-2 and it looked like he was building a League 1 side, but he wasn't quite finished. Kind of has some Portuguese in there, but uh, we managed to score the first goal here. Over the top to uh, Lukaku, and Lukaku just shows his strength. He gets this possessed, but he's just like mowing people down and keeps the ball somehow. And he manages to finesse that one in. He's just barreling through his defenders. It, it was kind of funny. And the next goal, a 1 2. We play Torres through, and he's in on goal 1 on 1 with the keeper. And he finesses that one in. Very easy finish for Torres. So that gave us our two goal cushion, which is what you want to see. And then this next goal was kind of funny. I don't know what he's thinking about here. I try to chip it with Torres, and then he takes it down to his feet with the keeper and passes it. Uh, why would you do that? I don't understand what he was thinking, but I'll gladly take the easy goal. Lukaku with the interception, and then he puts that one away very easily. Again, I just have no idea what that guy was thinking. And this next goal was pretty good from Ramirez. He's on a good run, and he chips it over the keeper. Nice finish. Up, down, and into the goal it goes. Uh, that was a nice one from Ramirez. His shooting isn't that great, but he's come uh, through for us quite a few times. 
and we get our fifth we get our max goal bonus fortunately for us in this goal in, in this match we whip in across and then Torres is on hand to I guess you would call that to get the rebound I guess I think he kind of blocked the header whatever it may be Torres was there to score a pretty nice goal nice powerful finish and we got our clean sheet we got our max goal bonus but we did not get a thousand coins that's okay we managed to pick up 946 and we get ourselves a pretty nice win and we have time for one more match this episode so we're going to search for that now and we come across this guy who was in a 4-2-2-2 he is building a Brazilian squad and he had a pretty good one and he, he was a pretty good player as well he has Pato, Fernandinho, Lucas, Rubinho, uh, Ramirez, Boateng's in there I don't know what that's about I think he was kind of trying to have a little bit of a Serie A influence whatever it may have been and Torres gives us the first goal a nice chop there and then he manages to put that one away it was a kind of a weird way that he finished right there with the left finessing it kind of across his keeper whatever we will gladly take that goal and this next goal comes from Fernandinho and this was a very nice finish uh, a very powerful finish right across Petr Cech uh, I was definitely not expecting that from Fernandinho but that was a good goal to him and we managed to take the lead back here a nice over-the-top ball which was too far but uh, I don't I think he tried to do a fake shot with his keeper there and try to like juke me out and that did not work and Lukaku takes it and puts it into the empty net very easy I don't know what he was thinking doing that and to kill the game off in the 90th minute this is a fairly close game Torres in on goal fake shot to get the angle and he finesses that one in to kill the game off and give this guy no chance of coming back so 3-1 and that was the end of the scoring so not bad we managed to get the win there just about that guy was a pretty good player and we pick ourselves up that game 757 coins and that's going to be it for this episode i hope you guys are enjoying the series please leave me a like leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching